Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm just here to bring you another um, Digi kit. So this one is very different um, to all my other kits. It's a really fun, kind of almost like the children's books um, images. And I just thought really, yeah, kind of different and really nice to kind of have a play with. So again, it's kind of in the usual format where it's, um, it's quite a large kit. So it's in one purchase. And that purchase is two PDF files. So you've got the background pages and you've got, you know, what I would call the body of the kit, which is like your ephemera pieces and things. Um, the PDF uh, files consist of, I think it's 10 pages for the background pages. And I think it was 13 pages for the ephemera pieces. Um, so if I kind of show you what they consist of and then what I've done, I have made a lot of kind of embellishments. And we'll just kind of have a play. I just want to kind of finish decorating them up. And um, I'm going to do an altered book, I think, with them. So we'll just kind of have a play with what I've made. And I'll kind of show you the types of things that I've kind of made using this kit. So the background pages that I will show you first. I have printed these on the 160 GSM smooth kind of card. Um and I have done them double-sided. So just to kind of give you an idea of how they would kind of be double-sided, I suppose. So, and I've printed them obviously on the borderless setting. So they've got like no um, border. So, oh, and one more thing. Sorry, I haven't thought of a name for this kit yet. I'm still kind of deciding on a name. So I've done this video obviously, because um, I wanted to crack on and do that. By the time that this video goes up, the kit will be in my shop and obviously a name will be sorted and I will put the name below in the video. Um, right, so the first of the background pages is this one. Uh, the flowers that have been used in this kit, I watercolour painted these flowers. So um, the fact that they've got quite a kind of muted kind of look to them, that's because they were taken from my watercolour painting. Um, so, you know, kind of, yeah, where they look kind of quite faded, it's because they're watercolour um, images but I thought they went really nicely with the kind of vibrant theme of the kit so you know I hope that kind of you think so too so this is the first of the background pages super cute um lovely and colorful this is the back of that <coughs> again so it's kind of featuring these gorgeous cute animals on here and some butterflies and things all just things gorgeous and bright and colorful like the types of things you would get in a child's book I suppose um, this one here, obviously with this gorgeous bird, I love the bird image, it's just gorgeous isn't it? Um, and then this one here, and again they all kind of, you know, um, contain the same kind of floral images, so hopefully all of the pages would kind of combine nicely kind of together, you know, um, however you put them, they've got something that picks up from the other images. This is another one of the pages. Then we've got this one here, these gorgeous little owls and the butterflies. And then you've got this one with lots of the watercolour flowers. And then you've got this one with the flowers kind of down the middle. Obviously I've done this because I thought if it were folded in a journal, these would then be on the, what would you call it, like this sort of inside of the journal which I thought was quite nice and a bit different because I tend to always kind of put things on the outside and actually it's quite nice to have something on the inside so that's kind of that page there which I thought was really nice and then you've got this one here so gorgeous bright vibrant images and then going through the ephemera pages so you've got this page here and you've got lots and lots of banners and you know, labels and journaling cards and, you know, all different elements and pieces. Um, I like to give you a whole bunch of stuff to play with. I think kind of you can never have enough stuff. So, you know, the more you've got, the more there is to kind of decorate your journals up with. And obviously you can then use things or not use them. You know, once you've printed them, you know, up to you how you use them. And obviously you could just cut out small elements from, you know, individual things if you wanted to do that, you know. So that's why... Obviously, it's nice to have kind of an abundance of stuff and in different sizes, kind of, you know, similar images, but in different sizes. So that you've got, again, you know, more choice. Then you've got this one. And I've included, um, first time I've done this, kind of some borders. So I've included the borders with the kind of background colour on them. 
and that way you could either have them as kind of straight you know rectangles or you could obviously fussy tear around them um you know which i have done on some of my ephemera pieces which i'll show you in a moment so you know you've got some scope with those and then here you've got two more borders different ones but again you could kind of tear them or cut them down kind of as you wish then you've got some pockets um, again some more little labels and some kind of I don't know really what you'd call these but like just banner decorative type pieces some more here different um, banner type pieces here with again different sizes um, journal card another pocket and another different banner piece there here you've got another um, pocket and journal card and then a few different sizes of these gorgeous circles so you could have tags or you know have you wanted to use them then I've included um, three I think it was pages of <coughs> fussy cuts what I would call kind of fussy cuts so using the common kind of images that we have used throughout the kit in various different sizes so you've got kind of the owls with the flowers you've got them without the flowers and you've got them in kind of different sizes you've got the cute lion the birds facing different ways um, you've got some teacups, uh, butterflies, and obviously the flowers themselves, the little gorgeous um, little deer there. And then sort of some more here, and I've just included some words here. And then I included a largish word, because sometimes I think it's quite nice to have a big one. So that's that page there. So, you know, lots and lots of bits for you to really kind of go to town and decorate your journal up really nicely and then on this final page um lots of items quite small um for you to really kind of again go to town kind of making you know things like you could make tiles from some of these pieces or you know however you want to do them um you know just kind of so you've got an assortment and then here on this one you've got a um like wage envelope or coin envelope um so again you've got the kind of fold line here kind of visible and obviously here so fold that over and you know that's your coin envelope some more labels um small size little teapot and some more bits and pieces and then on the final page i just gave you a couple of stationary pieces which again i've put them at the end so that if you wanted to print them onto paper rather than cardstock so kind of different to the rest of the kit then you could just print this page just separately you know because you may want to do that you might not but you know just in case so that's kind of um, how that is. So if I just move this fabric piece out of the way and I'll show you some of the pieces that I've kind of done so far using this kit. So I'm just going to sit down because I have obviously been standing up to show you the kit. So I have made um, a whole bunch of different pieces basically so far that I'm planning on doing this altered book which I've started painting the pages in this gorgeous lilac colour. Um, I really like kind of just painting pages when I do altered books, which I'm sure kind of if you've watched my channel before, you know, you've seen me do that before. And I just thought that the lilac obviously just went really nicely with the kind of purple shades in the kit. So that's my plan. So if we kind of go through, I have got this piece here, which is just some sheet music stitched around and then I tore one of those little borders and I wanted to have one of these little um, banner pieces here to the side. Now I had actually done that in paper which obviously kind of in hindsight really I thought I don't actually want that in paper I'd rather have it in card because then it would act like a kind of pocket or tuck spot on the pocket so obviously in my reprinted versions I've got another one of these now there is a color difference um, on the different papers you can probably see this one is a lot more vibrant than this one so obviously the more porous that the paper is the less vibrant your images are going to be so this one is not my ultra smooth 160 GSM cardstock this is cardstock 160 GSM but it's kind of a um, I don't know how to describe it, but a less smooth surface. So kind of therefore more porous and therefore not as bright 
you know, the ink kind of, I guess, sinks in to the card a lot more than it does on the smooth surface where it kind of obviously must stay kind of sat on the top, I guess. So we just cut round this one. I mean, it's still bright and colourful, but it's not as bright and colourful as when it's on the, um, you know, what do you call it, the uh, smooth surface. So, you know, or indeed on copy paper. I mean, this I think was actually just on copy paper, which again has a much smoother surface. So, you know, it's going to come out kind of brighter. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's bright enough. So I'm just going to cut these couple of threads off of here. And then what I thought we'd do is just pop this down here so that we could then have it as a little tuck spot for a journaling card. So I'm just going to have a look through the bits and bobs that I've got here to the side. <coughs> so probably something like this sort of side, side, size. Um, so if I just cut this one out, and actually probably that label probably be fine. So I'm just going to cut these two. Yeah, I just, um, you know, cut out kind of various bits and I just got making ephemera. I didn't have a plan, but I thought, actually, I haven't done an altered book for a really long time. And I love doing the altered books. I don't know quite why I haven't really done one, but I think kind of sometimes you just get kind of, um, you know, like stuck doing on automatic pilot. And um, yeah, I, it, I actually can't even remember the last one that I did that would have been an altered book. It could have even been before Christmas. I can't honestly remember, but I do really like them. So um, and I thought this just lent itself to the altered book thing really well because um, I think they always look really lovely with kind of kids' books. So this is kind of, it reminds me of children's book images. Right, so I'm just going to pop some glue here and some glue here. Obviously, as you can see, I have printed over this because I was, you know, while I was trying to get the kit right, I obviously had to print it off, you know, many times to get it quite, you know, so that I was happy with it. So, because sometimes you print it off and then there's a piece hanging off the page or something like that. So, um, yeah, I've had to print it off kind of lots of times. So, just like that, and we can just pop those in there. Isn't that so cute? And then, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to put lace in this um, journal. I mean, this would be like a first for me if I was not to put lace. Um, but I do have a bit of a kind of urge to try and see whether I can manage to do one without lace. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to kind of decorate these up for the moment and then we'll see kind of how it goes, whether or not you know, I will be adding lace. So that's the first one. So I'm just going to pop that to the side. So moving on, I'll show you kind of this one so that they're, you know, quite different in styles that we're doing because I don't want to be doing all the same, all the same things. So we've got this one, which, uh, you know, you can probably see is just some vintage sheet music, which I just kind of folded it over. I folded it over to give it more thickness and then I've stitched it around. I folded, this was a stationary piece, which I just folded in half again and then I glued it across here and stitched it around to form this whole kind of big pocket, which I just thought was really, really, really cute. Um, and then I popped on one of the um, ephemera pieces, this teacup, which again, I just thought was, you know, really cute on here. So... Again, we could kind of decorate it up. We could put on some flowers, we could put on a butterfly, we could put on one of the little deer, or, you know, kind of any of the little bits and pieces. So, I'll just cut out a couple of, just a couple of bits that we can kind of then, well, play around with and see what we think. So, and obviously I would have done my cutting first, but, um, 
you know I'd already printed the kit you know numerous times trying to get it right so I really wanted to actually kind of be able to show you the kit without printing yet again you know if I'd have cut it out I'd have had kind of another spare set printed so you know I didn't want to kind of be so wasteful so there we go so I'm just cutting the teapot out you know may or may not use that um, it may be kind of too, too tea themed having the teapots because we've already got a teacup on here but we'll see and actually I've just thought although I said oh I'm going to try not to use lace <laughs> I did dig out before I came on filming some gorgeous bright pink lace that um, again I kind of bought some the other day and um, I thought, oh, that would be really good for using for this journal. No, I don't actually know where I've even put it. So perhaps I didn't end up bringing it over. Definitely dug it out, whether or not it actually made it to the video. Who knows? But, you know, to the video setup. Maybe it didn't. In which case, I might have to dash off and get it. Because, um, yeah, already just on the second embellishment, I'm failing miserably with my whole, oh, I might not use any lace because already I can just picture some pink lace just across the top of here. So, you know, I've fallen at the first hurdle. What can I say? Now, when I cut these butterflies out, I have to confess, I do cut off those little antennae things, um, you know, because obviously I couldn't really fussy cut around those without doing that kiss cutting thing you know where it's like got a white edge and you know sometimes I quite like the white edges I think they can look quite cool but on the whole I wouldn't say that I do I don't mind it when I buy them with the white edge but when I've made them and it's got a white edge I feel very aware of that because I feel like it's got a white edge because I couldn't manage to cut off or cut close enough you know which is obviously the case more often than not but um yeah I don't really like that so um you know kind of as soon as then I look at a page all I can see is that white like this <clears throat> I obviously really should have cut that white out of the inside of the cup handle but I didn't and I don't know whether I'm going to ink this um, journal you know these pieces because actually again I'm really enjoying seeing them in their really bright beautiful colours um, so I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to kind of ink them up or not and if I do I'm not sure whether I'm going to use vintage photo I mean again I've said that probably the next thing you'll see me doing is inking them with my vintage photo because I mean I did just say I'm not going to use lace or I'm going to try not to use lace and my very next piece I was there looking for the lace so who knows what's going to transpire throughout this video but I mean probably the best thing to do is just kind of take everything I say with a pinch of salt because um <laughs> two seconds later I might be doing what I said I'm going to try not to do right I'm going to get the pink lace I will literally be two seconds because it's just here I, you know it did involve getting up from my desk but not moving far so that's the pink lace isn't it a pretty color so let's cut this Come on. okay so you see I just thought having maybe some of that running across the top would be really pretty on there so I may have to just totally back up from my whole oh I'm not going to use lace here just because I think that's just too too scrummy you know too lovely to uh to not use so yeah I'm going to kind of do that I think so or we could have it across the middle actually Oh, I do really like it in the middle. The only thing is it covers up that butterfly completely, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess I could then pop the blue one on. Just move that out of the way. Or, 
I have got a big purple one somewhere. So let me just go back through my pieces. Excuse my arms. So just cut out here. Obviously, I've got a smaller purple one there, but what I'm wondering is if I just cut this one out. Yeah, I mean, this kit, I don't know whether it would be to many people's liking. I, you know, <laughs> I just kind of create what takes my fancy at the time. Um, you know, <laughs> I guess kind of it's not a case of smell what sells it's a case of kind of suit yourself but um just sometimes kind of i get an urge to kind of you know do different things and um i mean for me i really love kind of using different things i mean i do absolutely love the whole vintage thing with the gorgeous ladies um you know all that kind of stuff but equally i do really like cutesy kind of like these cute animal images I think are really really cute so um yeah kind of uh, it may not be a very commercially appealing <laughs> kit that I've created here but you know I kind of just think well it does appeal to me and you know it may just appeal to a few other people right I quite like it like that so I think I'm going to do that so I'm going to pop the lace on using the hot glue because obviously then it's just nice and glued down you know nice and quickly I don't have to wait for it to dry or any of that business so pop that down like that and then I'm just going to cut it off here and cut it off here yeah I mean I just um like a whole variety I guess of different kind of things you know I wouldn't really I mean other than the whole gotta have loads of lace and gotta have just loads of everything <laughs> loads of bits stuck everywhere I wouldn't necessarily say I've got kind of a favorite style because um you know different days I may be drawn to kind of different things I think so yeah kind of today or, you know, while I created this kit, obviously I was drawn to this. And now today, working with this, it's really nice to work with some colourful, yummy, you know, yummy colourful things. So let me just dig out again. These are my kind of more modern buttons, not my vintage ones. Um, but again, I've brought these along because, you know, to me, these are much more kind of suited to this kit. I have got some colourful buttons in my vintage buttons, but probably not so many. Where this one, actually, I've got quite a lot of bright coloured buttons. So, you know, they're just ideal for this, this kit. So, uh, that's why I've got these here. Let's see what else I've got. I'll just kind of dig out a few so I'm not con ooh, constantly getting the buttons back and forth, back and forth, you know. I do spot just then did you spot that that sweet little green flower oh, that's cute isn't it I've got some more of those somewhere I don't know where but again I think they're probably buried somewhere on my desk probably really left over from my card making really um but again actually I can see them working quite nicely with the colours in this kit so right that's just pop out a few of those colours. Okay, right. So this is just more stuff to be getting lost on my desk. So, uh, you know. Right, there we go. So pop them to one side. So does that look nice on there or not? Probably not really, but oh, but it does look quite nice there, I think. So I'm just going to stick that lace down a bit more because um, it's kind of lacking on that end. Just pop that down there. Like that, maybe. And then do we want to have kind of a button? 
Maybe over there. Oh, decisions, decisions, you see? Oh, I quite like all of these. Could have them like, clustered here. Oops. Well, I thought that was perhaps a smaller heart, but it wasn't, so. Oh, I might have them like that. I quite like the look of that. So, I'm just gonna pop down one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. And this one. And then this one. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting these stuck all over me. Right, there we go. So I think that looks really sweet. Now I have also got this fabric, which again, I mean, you know, this is just the benefits of having such a messy desk is because I just keep spotting bits and bobs laying around. Right, let me pop that to one side. So that's kind of another one finished off now. So let's see what else we've got here. So, right, I'm not, well, Another one that I've done was this, which I just thought I'd use this as a belly band. So let me just again cut the cut the threads from this. So this one obviously is just some of the background pages, and I've just kind of you know doubled them over as a belly band. And then I also took just a piece of card, popped on one of the journaling cards that I'm going to wrap around to have as a kind of a fold out there which I just thought looked really cute so first thing I'm going to do is actually glue that down so I'll just glue that down here with the wet glue like that okay like that mind the threads hanging but sometimes they're a bit too much aren't they so we've got that one and then I mean we could kind of pop a butterfly on which would act as a you know um, like closure for this we could add some string for it to kind of have as the closure um, I don't really want that kind of over that owl's face and obviously if I put it up there, I'm not sure how well, you know, how successful that would be as a closure. So just having a look. I mean, obviously once it's glued in the book, we could kind of maybe have a butterfly on the actual page. So that might be better to kind of do it more like that. So perhaps I should kind of leave that and um, come back to the, the closure. Um, again, we could kind of pop some lace on top or bottom or top and bottom. Probably not there, because that's going to just cover those owls up completely. So maybe down there, or maybe, maybe nowhere, because maybe it's actually going to kind of, you know, cover things up. So maybe we won't, maybe we won't. Okay, well maybe we'll leave that until that's glued into the book, because then we'll kind of see what it needs on the page. So, what was the other things that I've done here? I'm trying to think of some other things that might be kind of a bit more interesting. So, right, I've got this one here, which again is some sheet music. So again, let me just cut the threads off that are really kind of long. So just get rid of those. So again, I just tore off a little bit of the background page there and then um, also one of the journaling pieces. And I've stuck these on with glue, but also then stitched around them onto just some sh vintage sheet music, which again, I doubled over so it's a little bit more kind of robust and thick. So that's kind of that. And then we'll just kind of, again, just decorate this up kind of with some little bits and bobs. So. Again, we could have some lace somewhere. Oh, again, maybe at the top. I love that at the top. You see, so that was just never going to work, was it? Me saying, 
I'm going to try and not use lace here because um, it's kind of that same old thing. As soon as I try it there, I always, always love it. I very rarely think, oh no, it looked better without, you know, unless it's kind of covering something up, like on the last piece where it was going to cover that owl's face. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to prefer it with the lace. So that's that. So then what we could do is kind of add a couple of buttons. So I'm just seeing, you know, what colours we've got on this piece. So we've got this colour here is kind of picked up from this button. And that colour actually also kind of tones really well with it. So we could kind of have it like that. Um, let me just bring in that fabric and see if that fabric could go anywhere. Could it? I'm not sure. Let's just is still stitched in a kind of triangle from where it was like bunting so I'm just going to trim it down here just see whether we could make a kind of more like a tab oh gosh come on. so I went to see that film rocket man um with my son. It was uh, quite good. I have to say I'm filming this video ahead and I don't know when I will upload this so it may be that by the time that I upload this that video or you know that film it might have been out for absolutely ages so I apologise if it's kind of really old news by now but I'm trying to get lots of videos in the bag so that I've got plenty to upload you know when I'm busy and then haven't really got time to be uploading or you know videoing I've got them then ready to upload still so yeah I do apologize if it's like really old news because this could be now weeks because I've actually got quite a lot of videos now kind of ready so um yeah I probably shouldn't really talk about anything that's kind of current to be honest just in case that's the case really but but so if that is the case you know I wonder if some of you have seen it and whether you thought it was good as well quite interesting to kind of hear about these people's lives and um, I just always find it so sad that you know these people have kind of everything that you know us as kind of near you know mere normal people you know um, struggling to kind of make ends meet you know can't even begin to comprehend their wealth and you know their lifestyles and it just seems to bring them misery really because they're often surrounded by the most you know, um, well, just awful people who are obviously just there for completely the wrong reasons. And, you know, they're, I don't know, they're just not concerned for their welfare as, at all as a human being. It kind of seems, you know, so long as the money keeps rolling in, that's kind of all that's important. And um, it's very sad, really. And it just seems so often the case, you know, and I guess as well, you know, when these people are such kind of mega stars, the other problem is, is kind of saying no to those people, you know, when they're asking for a substance or, you know, something else that they're indulging in. You know, for instance, drink, you know, it would be very hard to say no to somebody who's a very strong kind of influential character. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's not necessarily always a really sinister kind of thing that's gone on. It may be that genuinely, you know, there's just a kind of, uh, like, difficulty with the refusing that person. But it just always seems really uh, a shame, you know, because often their lives are completely kind of destroyed by... Uh, you know what effectively is kind of access to too much too much of everything really um yeah i mean there was no bigger tragedy i thought than whitney houston i mean she was you know beautiful stunning amazing voice um you know amazing body amazing talent you know oh it just it kind of yeah everything you know and 
what an awful, awful waste, you know, I just, oh, so sad. And, you know, obviously then her daughter, you know, who I guess just, you know, really kind of wanted to be back with her mum, reunited with her mum, I don't, you know, I mean, obviously I can only go by what I've heard on TV or, you know, read in newspapers or whatever, but what a tragic, tragic case. It just really is very, very, very sad. So, yeah. I mean, thankfully, obviously, in Rocket Man, you know, Elton John, as we know, continues to thrive, gone on to be a parent and things. So, I mean, he obviously, you know, went into rehab and he's managed to turn his kind of um, addictions and things all around. So, you know, thankfully, it was kind of, it turned out well for him. But it just seems so sad because in so many of these cases, it doesn't seem to kind of turn out well. And it's just tragic, isn't it? Right. So that's that piece, which looks really cute. And I just added that little piece of fabric just because I thought that looked really pretty coming to the side. So I'll pop that to one side. And I think we've probably got time for just kind of one more. And then um, we'll kind of have a look and see how they're going to look when they're actually placed in the journal. And I've just spotted, when I put that down to the side, I've just spotted just this piece of purple net, which... How perfect, you know, because we're obviously kind of working with quite a lot of purple shades. So um, that maybe is going to be just ideal for something. So I've got this piece here. So this is just some ivory card. It was taken from, it was kind of like a big, um, I guess like a scrapbook album. They were left over at work. Um, I work for the university. Um, I don't do anything very exciting there. I just do administration. Um, but, yeah, our local university. And um, every so often, obviously, you know, there's a clear out of various things. So this was a clear out of some students' kind of portfolios. You know, when they've kind of been gone for X amount of time, obviously their work is kind of... Um, discarded and you know if they haven't collected it which I just never understand why they wouldn't want to collect it because they've put in all that effort doing the work why don't they want to collect it but anyway often they don't so there were some portfolios of work and they were done a few of them not all of them a few of them were done in these brilliant kind of scrapbook albums so um my kind of friend at work she kept them for me and said oh I thought you might like these for your crafting so um it was brilliant because this one obviously you know it had lots of pages in it so I was able to kind of tear all those pages out um I I haven't thrown the outer cover away although it's massive it was kind of an A3 size so I'm not quite sure you know what I would use it for because I'm not sure how I would cut it down it's very very stiff um so I don't think I'd make a very good job of cutting it down to use as covers but I have hung on to it for the moment, um, but I may get rid of it soon. So, yeah, anyway, that's what this card is from. So that's what these these holes are from, where it was on a kind of ring bound, not a ring bound, spiral bound thing. But I opened the spiral, so I got a lot of them off, you know, without them tearing. But I've just, if you saw just now, I just did tear those because I thought they looked kind of cool then um, with that torn effect. So... That's what I did there. Um, sorry, I was busy talking and so I actually, you know, forgot to kind of explain really what I was doing. So I just rough up the edge of this piece here like that. And then I wondered if that might be kind of nice on that bit of net that I just found beside me. <clears throat> It's not brilliant, actually. I think it will go on something, so I'm not going to kind of get rid of it, but not on this piece, I think. It's not quite right here. Um, actually, I have um, got this little remainder of pink doily, which I wish that I had spotted this before gluing these bits down because that would have been really nice. But actually, I could probably glue it on there. I think that would look okay. Right, I'm going to do that. I think this was left from 
I don't know, something else anyway that I've been doing recently. Maybe my collage journal might have been left from that, I think. So I just pop that down like that. But aren't these images really cute? So just, yeah, really nice to kind of work with such lovely, colourful things. So, uh, oh, it's gone. Right. Oh, I wonder whether I could put that on some pink lace. Uh, actually, I do have a little bit of that other pink lace left that I've used before, which I'd use this... Well, I used it in my symphony orchestra with my symphony orchestra and a few other things. So I've just got, this is all I've got left of this, which actually is more than I thought because I thought I'd run out completely. And then I discovered this piece kind of still in my carrier bag of laces. So I was pleased that I still did have some left, but it's not a lot. But hey, I'm not using a lot. As you can see, it's a very tiny piece. So maybe just put that there. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? So again, I'm just going to kind of hold that down with my scissors. And then I'm just going to hot glue that into place, which using the hot glue will kind of glue that lace in place as well. So there we go. <clears throat> I've got to go and do my food shopping in a minute. So, um... I hate doing that. used to really like it and um, just do not like it anymore. I don't know why. I couldn't really tell you what's changed. But I think just purely and simply sometimes I just think, oh, I'd rather be doing other things. Probably crafting, you know, <laughs> doing videos, crafting, watching other people's videos, things like that, really. Um, we're maybe kind of, you know, pre-internet and things like that. Um, there wouldn't have been so much to do, I guess. So maybe that's why I didn't used to mind sh uh, food shopping so much. But oh, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? So I normally rope the uh, boys into coming with me. So they finish school earlier than my daughter. And so we normally go and kind of quickly do it once a week before she finishes school, in between them getting home and her finishing. Um... You know, and either they both come with me or one of them. It kind of started out really because they like coming with me to be able to make sure they get the things that they want in the food shop. So, um, you know, although I'm sure that they find it boring as well, they like to ensure that they're putting the stuff in the trolley as well. And I have to say, definitely it's a no-go going with my daughter because obviously she wants to put all sorts of stuff in the trolley. Um, you know, not not healthy things at all but <laughs> lots of sweets and crisps and goodness knows what the boys are thankfully they're a little bit healthier um since doing their crossfit they're quite health conscious but i mean they do still like you know the odd thing but not quite so much as my daughter does so they did do when they were five but they've kind of grown out of that a bit so that's a bit better my husband he's another one who uh, really likes to fill the trolley with junk food really you know but we've banned him now from going because we'd gone through a little phase where he actually did the food shopping um instead of me and um it did not work out very well because we found he spent quite a bit and he came back with nothing you know kind of two carrier bags and goodness only knows what was in those carrier bags but certainly nothing you could really form a meal from so he's kind of been banned now and we just do it without him so right now <coughs> so these are how my bits are looking so if I just kind of quickly give you a quick look so this is that piece here that we've just worked on and I would probably just glue that down and have it as a little tuck spot there obviously these pages as you can see I mean I've very lightly painted them and then what I will probably do is go over them a little bit kind of thicker with the um, paint so it's slightly more covered up or I might just kind of tear some book page up behind or something like that you know I haven't quite decided but you know I probably you know 
I don't mind if it's text so much, but obviously this is not a vintage book. This is like time management. Again, this is, I think, another one I've got from work. Um, you know, when some of the lecturers throw out their old books. So clearly this is not a nice, <laughs> a nice interesting book to have in the background, but I will somehow cover these up either with it, um, you know, with some of the pieces from the kit or possibly with, um, you know, thicker paint. So the paint literally is just a kind of um, base coat, kind of get me started kind of point. So that's how that one would look. Then we've got this one here. That's how that one would look. Isn't that so cute? And I would probably put that quite near the edge of the page. So we've got that little tab kind of hanging off. Really sweet, isn't it? Then we've got this one here, which is the belly band kind of piece. So again, you could kind of have it in the middle or again, kind of over at the edge, you know, um, kind of decide where to put that. Then we've got this piece here, which again, you know, I would probably put it probably quite low down, maybe in the middle. Maybe have it as a pocket or just a tuck spot or maybe a top loading pocket. I haven't quite decided, but, um, you know, options for that. And then this one here, I would have, again, either as just a little tuck spot on two sides or, you know, a pocket on three sides. And you know what? I actually did this one wrong because um, I'd kind of semi-made my pieces, as I explained. And it was only just now that I realised I actually had intended on putting this piece on this piece. And this piece was supposed to go on something else. So I'm a little bit cross with myself, but, you know, never mind. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope that you like the kit. I hope that kind of some of this craft with me was a little bit useful. Um, and I don't know whether I will actually continue with this book with you guys or whether I might have to do some in slow time. Um, you know, because often it's obviously, you know, it's not always easy to kind of do videos because once the kids are all here, it's a bit noisy or... You know kind of daylight um kind of isn't so good kind of in the evenings i mean obviously it is still bright these days but you know it's not quite so good um or you know if it's kind of overly hot up here because i'm up in our kind of loft um you know all those kinds of reasons so it's just sometimes you know i may have to get on with it myself but um anyway i will keep you posted so yes i will obviously link the name below once i've decided on a name for the kit and obviously the kit will be um for sale in my etsy so hope that you um like it and i will see you all again soon thanks then bye